Nothing's worth it. Go home. Everybody goes home. My grandfather was saved. His life was saved from a firefighter. And from then, I always wanted to become a firefighter. Be prepared. Train ahead of time. It's no cakewalk. You just got to be prepared for it and know what you're getting into. I made some good friends. Um, we all get along decently well. And uh, I'm hoping that we'll all you know, stay connected as, after we graduate. typical day for us includes uh, working out in the morning. We usually do about an hour of uh, working out CrossFit style. Um, so it could be anything from push-ups to running the towers, putting on our gear. Uh, basically we just want to break a sweat and work out. From then we'll go to the classroom, study for a few hours up until lunch, and then usually come out here and practice the skills and all the drills that we do here. Put on his uh, full firefighter ensemble with the SCBA included. Right now he's starting with his, bunk his bunker pants and his hood. Hood goes on first, followed by the bunker pants. Button up all your snaps, secure everything, put on the suspenders. Then he's gonna go ahead and put on his bunker coat. We've been doing it for seven weeks now. We're starting to get used to it more another day at this point. My toughest rescue, um, before I got into fire rescue, like the training and whatnot, I've been ocean rescue uh, out on the beach, so like a lifeguard. I've had to basically take three people out of a rip current and um, swim them in. So what we did here is we pulled a uh, inch and three quarter hose line and we're simulating that we're fighting the fi a car on fire. So we're going to the hood, putting the hood fire out, spraying the floor. If there's any fuel leaking towards us, it sprays back. Going along the whole side of the car, putting the fire out, and then finally putting the hood out, coming back, and pulling the hose back to us. One of the many misconceptions um, that we're heroes. Honestly, I get trained. I'm training all these guys to do this job and I feel that that's my job. I'm trained to do it. I'm trained to teach these guys how to go into a dangerous atmosphere, be safe, re recognizing those conditions, and get out and go home. I, I like to pass my information on. I love every part of my job, and I'm proud of these guys and everybody that comes through here.